a problem about a ceiling fan, a rotational problem about a ceiling fan. Now, fans are a very famous object in everyday life for things that rotate, so it's no coincidence then that some problems in rotation involve things about ceiling fans. So here's sort of a ceiling fan, some fan blades here. They give you some numbers here. They say the radius of the ceiling fans is 0.8 meters of the ceiling fan is 0.8 meters. Uh, it's currently rotating at 60 RPMs, which I've gone ahead and converted to radians per second, 6.28 radians per second. And they say someone turns it off, and after they turn off the power, it sort of rotates and ends up stopping in 25 seconds. So what they want to know is after they turn it off, so here's part A, after the person flips the switch off, what is the speed of the tip of the blade in 10 seconds? So they're not quite asking about the full 25 yet. They're saying 10 seconds after the turn off, what would the speed of the blade the very tip of the blade be right there. So some things to say about that. So anyway, the first thing that we're going to need to get this here is we're going to need to know the angular deceleration of the fan blade. We need that because if it stops in 25 seconds, that's going to be some constant angular deceleration. We can find some information about what's doing in 10 seconds to get this answer solved. But we'll use this thing because we know it actually stops in 25 seconds. So to get alpha here, I can sort of use equation 2, which says alpha is omega minus omega naught over delta t, something like that. So alpha then will be the omega there, the 6.28 radians per second, minus zero because it's starting a rest here, and divided by delta t here, it'll be something like um, 25 seconds. So this is the indicator here. This is what the angular deceleration would have to be to get it to stop then, to get it to stop in 25 seconds. Now it looks like when I use this equation, I might have reversed the top here. I think this is supposed to be the, the omega naught, and that's the omega. So we'll go ahead and do that. So it'd be, this would be a minus sign in here indicating that we do have an angular deceleration or an angular acceleration, which is opposite to the original positive omega. So whenever omega and alpha have opposite signs, you know something's slowing down. So there's the deceleration of the fan, given the information that we've given that actually stops in 25 seconds. So back to the original problem, what is the speed of the tip after 10 seconds? Well, what we'd like to know first is how fast is the fan travel, rotating then after 25 seconds? So if it's traveling initially at 6.28 radians per second, that's sort of the angular speed of the thing, minus the 0.25, that's the angular deceleration of the fan that we got from the information that it stopped in 25 seconds, but we're only interested in this point and what it's doing after 10 seconds, not the full 25. So what I'd get then is I'd get some angular speed of the object, which is doing after 10 seconds, and for this, I get some number like 3.77 radians per second. So you see, indeed, the fan is slowing down. It was going at 6.28 radians per second, but then it was flipped off, and 10 seconds later, now it's only going 3.77 radians per second. So it is on its way to zero, which, of course, it will reach in 25 seconds. So the speed of the tip is kind of an interesting question here, because what they're sort of asking about the fan blade there is as this thing rotates, you know collectively the, flan, the fan blade sort of looks like this, and the whole thing, all the flan, blade, flan, yeah, fan blades together are rotating with some angular speed omega. But it's also kind of interesting that say you're a little bug or a white piece of paint or something on the very tip of the fan blade right there, you would definitely have a little bit of angular velocity right there. It's the good old stuff from early in the class, a V. You would have a V right there in meters per second. And of course, the faster the omega is, the faster the V would be. So the question really is an issue of like, what is the relation between V and omega? And it's sort of a subtle but important one that comes up in a lot of contexts here. And in particular, I guess you just sort of know this, V is actually equal to some radius times omega. This is a key relationship between linear speed and angular speed. And if you ever have trouble remembering it, just remember that V here always is in, is in units of meters per second. You probably know that by now, where the omega over here is in units of radians per second. Now, the radian isn't really a real unit. It's just sort of a filler in there, so we know that there's uh, something that might involve an angle or just reminds us of it, that it's an angular quantity in here. Now, the units of R are in meters then. So if you just look at the units, you can sort of wash away the radians, and you see that the meter per second holds up with a meter per second. So that's a way of remembering. So indeed, if I just take the 3.77 multiplied by the radius of the fan, which is the R, I will get the linear speed of a portion right on the very edge of the fan right there. That will be the V, and that will work out just fine. Lastly, the problem wants to ask, ask you in part B here, how many revs did it turn through while stopping? So in other words, after the person comes in here and turns off the fan, it stops in 25 seconds, how many revolutions did the fan undergo while it's doing that? I think we're really well suited to do that because we know that theta is equal to theta zero plus omega zero delta t then we have a minus one-half alpha delta t squared, where I've explicitly put the minus sign here because I know it's decelerating um, as it slows down.
Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll just assume that the fan blade started with some position of zero, and I know that it had some initial omega when it started to slow down. In particular, it was a 6.28 radians per second, and the delta T is the full 25 seconds because that's what they're asking about. That how long, did, how many revolutions did it travel while it was slow while it was slowing down? So then also we'll have here the minus one half times 0.25. That's the deceleration again times the 25 seconds squared. So just filling in right there. And for this thing, if I plug all this in, you're certainly welcome to do it in your calculator as well. I get something like 78.8 radians for this. Okay? But now just be careful that this is all fine. It's the correct answer, but the problem wants revolutions. So you definitely multiply this by 2 pi, uh, excuse me, 1 revolution in 2 pi radians. So you, if the 78.8 is divided by eventually by a 2 pi, I'll get something in a bit about 12.5 revolutions. So that'll sort of be how many revolutions the fan must have spun to as it slowed down to stop.